Welcome to another Z Hut Kemp tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to do chroma keying, or more commonly known as green screen, to replace your background of a picture with a different picture. Now I've already taken a picture of myself on the green screen, so we'll load that up. There we go. Now this is not very complicated. This is a beginner's tutorial. So first we will go up and you want your foreground select tool. Now some people say use the fuzzy select, use the select by color. I've tried all of it and the foreground select tool seems to work the best. So we'll select that and then it wants you to lasso around basically your picture. Now do not cut into your picture. If you do, you're going to have to redo it. Alright, we got that around. Give it a second. There we go. Now we need to paint our foreground. And you do not want to go out into the green. Or you will have to use your, your edit and back up and redo all this from the beginning. So if you mess up, just use edit, undo, and start all over. So we'll go ahead and we'll select my shirt, go up my neck, around my head, cut into my hair a little so we get that, up onto the hat, Round. Ooh, I got close to the edge there. Now I'm going to do a couple waves back and forth, up and down, get all the different colors. And the more you get the first time, the better. Otherwise, once you're done, you can come back and select more. So we'll go ahead and see what that renders up. Now don't worry if it says not responding. That is common, I have found. It uh, is just doing lots and lots of calculations to do this. And the longest I've ever had it go was like a minute, minute and a half. And loaded it. There we go. Now I'm not seeing any marching ants anywhere on the picture itself, so I'm going to have to say it did a good job. So what you can do next is you can click and add more strokes if there's an area that there's marching ants around that's in your picture. And you want to select them and then wait until it compiles it again. But this turned out perfect, so we're going to go ahead and just hit enter. Then we want to go select, invert. Oh, and before I forget, we want to make sure we have the alpha channel turned on. All right, we do. Now we can just hit delete. Look at that, background is gone. All right, so we'll go to select, select none. But now you look. Now when I took this picture, I was standing about five, six feet in front of the green screen and I had good lighting going and it looks like mostly I got rid of the green halo, but there's a little bit right in here I can see. So before I go any further, I'm going to zoom in. Yep, there is a little bit of green halo there. I'm just going to manually remove that and look up. Yeah, around the hat, even though it doesn't show up too good, there's a tiny bit. So I'm going to go around the whole picture and remove that, which is real easy. You want your fuzziest circle brush. Then you go to your eraser tool. And we want to make that a little bit smaller. That's about right. And just barely come into it to get rid of that green hue. 
There's going to probably be a tiniest bit, but you just want to remove most of it. Now, as you can see, this is going to take a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and go around and remove that green halo around it. And then I'll come back and show you how to add your different background. All right, we're back. I have almost finished off. But I thought I'd come back and just show you. You see how this checkerboard is? Each one of them checkers is a pixel. And I'm doing the erasing to get rid of the green halo. I am only taking about a pixel to maybe two pixels off the edge. And that's the green halo. And just take your time. Get them off because the picture will look way better without that green. Go ahead. And there's just a slight bit in there, but that teeny tiny bit won't show up like the, the major amount will. Let's go ahead. Down there, we'll edge that in a little bit because it was kind of green. And when you take this just little one to two pixels off the edge of your picture, you're not going to notice notice it. And there we go. We're down. We're at the end. And you can see there is still just a little hue of green. That's not going to show up. So we're going to minimize all the way back out and there's our picture so we got that all cleaned up now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a background picture and i took this about a year ago it's just a picture of um some clouds at the skyline there and what we do is click on that and then we want to move it down under our picture has a transparency, and bam, there we go. Now we had the green screen, took that in the studio. Now there's the picture with the clouds, everything going. Super easy to do, super easy. Um, even with my green screen, it wasn't lit the greatest, and that might be why I had to do so much editing around the side to get rid of that green halo and all that. But there you go. And you could put any picture in the background. You could, the pyramids, picture your car, picture your house, anything you can think of. So I hope um, this video was helpful. If it was, please click on the thumbs up. I'll, um, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And on the outro, I'll throw a couple pictures of my green screen set up for you so you can see what I'm using. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.